USB flash drive and hard drive support is finally here on the iPad and the iPhone. However, if you're having problems connecting your drives to your iOS device, in this video, I'm gonna break down the top reasons why that may be and help you fix them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now we're going to go through these tips pretty quickly, but there's a heap more information down in the description, including links to other videos that will help you out and links to where you can pick up the products that I recommend and use in this video. The first thing to keep in mind is that you need an iPhone or iPad that can run iOS 13 or iPad OS 13. So that is the iPad Air 2 or above, an iPad mini 4 or above, any iPad Pro and the iPhone 6S or newer. Any earlier models will only be able to run iOS 12, which doesn't have USB file support. However, if you are running an earlier version, you can pick up a lightning specific USB drive like the SanDisk iExpand. And there's links down in the description to a video where I show you all about this one. So assuming that you do have a compatible device, the next thing to consider is the actual adapter itself. This is the genuine Apple lightning to USB adapter. It has a USB port and a lightning port, which not only powers your iPhone or iPad, but can provide additional power to USB devices plugged in, which as you'll find out in a moment is super important. If you choose to use a generic or a third party or aftermarket lightning to USB adapter, they often simply won't work. Or if they do work at best, they will work intermittently. So Buy one of these at your own risk. If you want reliability, I would highly recommend getting a genuine Apple adapter. And once again, there's links down in the description to where you can pick one of these up. My third tip is around drive format. So if your drive is formatted using NTFS, which is a standard Windows format, it won't be readable by your iPhone or iPad. What you'll need to do is plug it into your Windows PC and then go into the drive format. And if it's NTFS, you'll need to copy the contents onto another drive, reformat it as EXFAT, XFAT format, and then it will work. If it is a standard Mac or Apple format drive, it should work out of the box. But if you're having trouble and your drive is not showing up, that's another reason it may be the case. Tip number four is about power. Now I mentioned it before, but the reason the lightning to USB 3 adapter from Apple is good is that it has that additional lightning port. So if you plug in your USB flash drive and it says this device requires too much power, and sadly many of them do, then you can actually plug in to a portable battery or to an AC power outlet, and that will actually power up your USB drive and you'll be good to go. And if you don't have a lightning to USB 3 adapter, no problem, you can use something like this, a powered USB hub where you can simply plug in your USB devices, plug the other end into AC power or a portable battery, and then connect that up to your iPad or iPhone, and that will power up any of your USB devices. And once again, there are more videos down in the description to help you get your USB devices successfully connected to your iPhone or iPad, as well as affiliate links to all the products mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.